I'm doing an installation of these ceramic pieces. I originally made these in response to the Gulf oil spill, but everybody forgets about stuff like that. Elizabeth Harris is an artist known as Lux Productions. And She's talking about her impromptu art piece at Portland's Tom McCall Waterfront Park. Can you see the black snake? It stretches all the way across the Salmon Street Springs Fountain. I like shiny, and I have to have lots. Look at me, crazy. This to me is just a big, thick tube of oil that's trying to snake its way through places it isn't supposed to go. For 10 years, Liz has been throwing these pots. She's made 3,000 of them to make statements. This one's about the Dakota Access Pipeline. It's from the pipeline from Canada to Minnesota and all those. With no permission or permit form from the city to place it here, she knows someone might wonder. Oh, I saw a cop already too, checking it out. It's like a gorilla style. You just do it and then what are you going to do? <laughs> and we're not hurting anybody. We're trying to help stuff. But it's cool looking. She calls each one of the 576 ceramic pieces on the snake a black hole. The snake is so skinny it needs to eat something. We need to fatten it up. It is about a black snake that will slither through the land, destroying the water and the resources. Fellow artist Amy Sitars is helping create the installation. This piece uh, represents that black snake. Um, and hopefully it will be destroyed by the end of the day. <laughs> They expect the destruction will happen when people move, smash, or take parts away. It'll represent the removal of the threat of the snake. I want it to be gone. <laughs> However that works, we all do our part. I've had two vaccines, and it's my first time doing photography in a year. Catherine Kendall calls herself the people's photographer. She's heard about the plan to make art on the waterfront and wants to document. Keep working for the land and for the for the planets, it's what I can do. Beautiful. It looks really good against the cement pebbles, too. That's why I like ceramics. It's like, it's of the earth, it's water, it's fire, it's air. Later, Northwest tribes held a rally with dancers, everyone moving around the pieces carefully, honoring it as part of the ceremony. The black snake in the fountain did not survive, though. The city's rapid response team removed it. Still, the killing of the black snake happened. In downtown Portland, I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News.